No more shipment, no more rust, and specifically you, sir, have spent way too much time hopping on meat. Huh? There, there, I, I know it's hard, but we'll make it through this together. <laughs> I'm sure things will come around. One night, you'll take a stand. Let that post brain rot clarity sink in, my friend. <laughs> hey guys, third day of Christmas hot takes, and mine today is that Call of Duty shouldn't have any type of meat maps in 6 v 6 multiplayer. None. None at all. Well, why? What did they do to me, you may be asking. Oh, what didn't they do? Alright, first of all, a meat map is any type of map put into 6 v 6 with the sole purpose of easy camo grinding. It's a meat grinder for your brain. And I'm not just talking about the literal meat map in Call of Duty MW3. <laughs> I would classify a meat map as anything that's smaller than meat. But yes, imagine yourself. It's 12 a.m. and you're about to head to bed, but your buddies want to play COD. You can't deny a fun time. Why the f would I do that? So I joined, but little do I know, they're grinding for weapon levels and camos on shipment. So match by match goes by, spawn die, spawn die, spawn die. Sure, I'm getting my tears up. I'm leveling through the battle pass and acquiring camos like Pokemon cards, but then I look at the clock. Three hours have gone by. What? Holy crap, how did that happen? Well, my friends, this is what we call the shipment effect. Brain rot is a very real thing, and it's already spread to major COD influencers. FaZe Jev, we lost him years ago to this virus. Dude is actually insane now. Thinks shipment should be a staple map and whatnot. Can't stand people saying shipment is what's wrong with COD multiplayer. No, no, no. It's gotta only be Warzone in his eyes. So I saw this tweet on my timeline. They said, shipment 24-7 killed Call of Duty multiplayer. I don't know why multiplayer players have this like weird thing where they feel like they have to blame something that's within their already starved game mode. I'll never understand this shit. I understand that there could be a group of players that get annoyed and pissed at shipment and things like that, but understand that they have pressed people and have built the game in a particular way to make shipment and the small maps literally the most efficient thing and since we have a new season that resets people over and over and over again and 90 plus percent of their player base nine to five jobs or just other things to do with their lives do not want to sit there playing a map like this when they can go and play something like shipment to say that somehow shipment is bad for multiplayer when it's literally one of the few good things that are going in multiplayer is crazy to me when you have the original perpetrator there alive and well warzone Warzone is the reason why multiplayer has suffered. Warzone is what is killing multiplayer. Warzone is what takes resources away from multiplayer. That's not an opinion, it is a fact. So die on that hill if you want, but you're literally wrong. You died for nothing. It's Warzone. Sorry, had to get that out of my system. Just so blatantly fucking wrong. You get the picture. I tried saving him a year ago, but he's a lost cause. May you keep your sanity, brave soldier. But in all seriousness, I think tiny maps have no place in 6v6 multiplayer for many reasons. Let's get into the first one. They ruin the mastery rewards in the game. You may think, oh no, no, no. It's the shop skins and blueprints that ruin that, Matsuki. <laughs> oh, my dear boy. The shop is its own problem in itself. Please check out my A Visual Game Breaker, Nicki Minaj, and Money Hungry Cosmetics video for more on that topic. I, however, don't think the shop plays a big part in this. A shop skin could look cool, but what actually has value is the items you sink your time and effort into unlocking. Blood, sweat, and tears are the three horsemen in building a strong connection to you and your sweet, sweet mastery camo. But the reason meat maps, and specifically shipment, ruins the special camo progression bond is because it is manufactured to be the best source of XP rates in the game across the board. There's also a reason games like Marvel Fire 2019 started putting challenge caps on specifically shipment for some rewards. I wish they still had caps like this to stop making maps like shipment from taking over all conceivable grinds outside of long shots, but they don't anymore. I have a feeling a lot of players would actually get very angry if shipment was only in the 24-7 playlist once in a while or not at all. But anyway, reason number two why meat maps don't have a place in COD is because people are now also confusing brain rot with challenging gameplay. As if being a masochist is a commendable challenge. <laughs> there is a weird ass section of the COD community now that has come accustomed to the style of constant feedback. Shipment's the place where people drop 60 plus kills a game and they call that skillful. They think other maps that don't allow that are inherently too big. It's insane because their perception of COD over the past four to five years has been to abuse spawn traps and never encounter campers at all. While yeah, that last part may sound like a good thing to you who wants to die to a camper, right? But that's not the point. You got an S tier map like Farm 18 and MW2, right? This sort of donut shaped map with a shoot house style combat zone in the middle. It's not a huge map. I would consider the size to be small in fact, but not tiny. 
just small. But guess what? People camp on it. There's these things people like to call safe spaces, and they're all around this map. The freezer room. Behind the gate. The undercover research tent. The staircase. Random corner number one. Random corner number two. Cafeteria. An overgrown basement hill. laundry bomb site. Center paper printer. Apartment second floor. Random corner three. Top of ladder. Bathroom stinky. First floor apartments. As a shipment player, this won't entice you. You're not able to spawn trap players here, nor get over 40 kills a game. Most of the time, it's 25 kills max in a 10 minute match, where camping is actually viable. It's scary out there, man. I don't want to leave my own safe space, right? Yeah, yeah, basically these players think it's impossible to challenge campers or people holding power positions. They don't want to flank around the long way to get a kill. In their minds, they should be able to challenge head on. If they aren't rushing like a chicken with their head cut off, it isn't caught to them. Rather than learning more skills, how to build and manage recoil at a variety of ranges, or experiment with class customization to the point they discover something fun and new, like an SMG plus sniper combo. That's a Matsuki original, thank you very much. <laughs> or you using tack cams to spot enemies to help out their team, or maybe something as simple as learning chokeholds and places not to go. This street on Grazna Raid in MW 2019 is a prime example. People back then that did not learn the map were mocking it and being like, man, this is what it's like to cross the street in Mono for 2019. Meanwhile, if you were to like compare that location to something on say Nuketown, standing on the street is basically standing on the fucking balcony, bro. Like guys, this is what it's like to play Nuketown. Uh, why am I always dying? I swear, a complex map this design is a little bit too complex for some people. Either that, or they're just overcomplicating it for themselves. But rather than learn these valuable skills, they want to grind shipment for 20 plus days per COD for the past 5 years in a row now. It's like me going out of my way to play Geometry Dash's first level for 20 plus days, man. Like, there's gotta be some point when you realize you're just coping this hard. Shipment is not a skillful map. It is in fact one of the easiest to learn and abuse due to how fast your engagements are reset. Due to how fast you can re-challenge the same engagement, due to how your minimap can actually see the entire map. If you just pay attention to that minimap for a little bit, you can learn how to spawn trap. And I'm not even talking about pub stomping, which is a different thing. It's when you move towards an enemy spawn to kill them. It's the more fair way of getting massive kill chains. Spawn trapping, on the other hand, is seeing an enemy become birthed in front of your very eyes, or just all lines of sight around you from any direction. If you can spawn trap, the enemies you are spawn trapping have no way to get out. That's why it's called a trap. And look, everything can be a skill. I can learn to read, I can learn to write, I can learn to ride a bicycle, but this is no different. Do you know names? Anyone could read a bloody dossier. With a map as small as shipment, it's easy to look at your minimap. It's easy to spot where enemies will spawn due to your teammates' locations. It's easy when your chances to learn the spawns are constantly cycling through the tips of your fingertips. It is easy, yet the spawns are still busted. Yet when I play, I can still get spawned on top of or behind me. To think this is even close to being a good map is pure addiction being rewarded by a constant flow of action and dopamine. Shipment will unfortunately leave an unhealthy stain on this community going forward because if it is taken away, guess which people feel entitled in the next COD when shipment isn't there? Guess who the people are that feel entitled to shipment 24 seven when it does exist in the game, but the devs don't want it to be in an available 24-7 playlist for the whole year. Yeah, this was actually Mono Fire 2019 that I'm referring to. Originally, shipment in that game was exclusively designed for the new 2v2 gunfight mode. They even let people get on top of the crates and whatnot. However, on Twitter back then you had this hate mob, this vocal minority complaining about safe spaces and adaptation to these new and old maps in MTV19. So they demanded shipment 24-7 in 66 all the time. They were so petty that they'd rather endure one of the worst designed shipment maps I've ever seen on an 80 field of view than and learn a slightly more complex map. I hated it so much, this is kind of where nostalgia gets you if you let it take over your life. I would much rather it only be a 2v2 map. Which actually leads me into my third point. Shipment can still exist in COD, but why not as an event map and or a 2v2 map only? The Christmas event is going on right now with the snowball gunfight game modes, but I fear this snowy map variant may disappear like the previous Christmas themed maps over the past four CODs. It would be real nice if instead of the snowball fight mode becoming an LTM, never to be seen again, it would be nice if it just had a 
its own permanent playlist with Hangover, High Rise, Christmas Shipment, Derail, and all the other snowy themed maps in this one mode. 2v2 Gunfight is also a one life deathmatch mode where teams have to eliminate the opposing forces on a swift, extremely competitive tiny map. And yes, I called it competitive because the map actually complements the game mode. 2v2 Gunfight. It complements the player size. That's why we don't have maps like Museum in 2v2, bro. We got Exhibit instead. Like, look at the size difference here. It's not impossible to have a 1v1 on a map like Museum. You'd probably both use snipers. But if the COD developers just shoved Museum into the 2v2 Gunfight mode, meanwhile every other 2v2 map looks like <laughs> this, I reckon you could probably see some cracks starting to form. So when I'm talking about the core 6v6 experience, I don't think maps like Meat, Rust, and Shipment work. And by the way, I, I do like Meat. I think it's the best layout so far for a tiny sized map. But again, it shares similar problems to Shipment because you're cramming too many players into a map too small to handle it. Spawn traps are still on Meat. I think Meat would honestly play really well in a 3v3 mode, but like, COD isn't a 3v3 game. So why are we making maps for 3v3 Sledgehammer games? <sighs> There's not a problem with making maps larger than meat. All of these MW3 maps have a variety of shapes and sizes to their layout. I think in the opposite direction of meat maps, Invasion is an example of a map that's too big and porous for regular 6v6. It doesn't play horribly in MW3, but there's a point when a map is too large to maintain at least some action. This entire embassy at the top back feels like nearly half of a 6v6 map itself. It's huge. I bet if you stayed indoors, you could probably never see a single enemy player the entire match. Just put on the ghost perk vest and sit in this dark room. <laughs> Plus, there's also the point when a map is too porous to maintain control. On the opposite side of invasion, we got five or six or seven buildings that you can fully navigate 360s around and you can enter them. This just creates a funnel-less maze. The enemy team could come out of almost any direction here. What they needed to do was have another area like this upper section. You can see that there's an actual lane here. The action is getting funneled. If people don't want to get picked off by a sniper, while they're crossing the street, well, they take the indoor flank route for cover. It's simple and easy to control engagements. And again, this shiz is not shipment at all. You gotta weigh out your options and decide in the moment which route is the right path to take. And so lastly, reason number four for why meat maps 24-7 should cease to exist in 66. To beat the dead horse, Call of Duty has had a better sense of community when we all played the same maps and the same modes. Now we're just split between casual 32v32 ground war and somewhat supported 2v2 gunfight, a shipment 66 grind full of sweats, and finally regular core 66 on the rest of the 18 or so multiplayer maps in MW3. <laughs> we're divided more than ever right now and that's why a good chunk of players Feel that shipment is the reason regular 6v6 doesn't feel fun anymore. Like sure, I can enjoy a good 2v2 match here and there, but I don't think anyone plays it religiously. I don't think 2v2 was ever an intended mode for earning camos either. It had its own tournaments and exclusive rewards. Like imagine if you could either win a tournament or just play a shipment for 5 hours to earn the same thing. A real reward versus a participation trophy, yet they're the exact same item. That would obviously suck all the fun out of tournaments. I also know Ground War has attracted Battlefield fans. That's probably why it's still here, kicking five years later. But when it comes to shipment versus regular 6v6, there's no cohesion. I don't get a sense of duality between these two modes. There's no reason to play regular 6v6 unless it's for your mental sanity. <laughs> the camos can still be earned there, but who wants to spend their blood, sweat, and tears on regular maps unlocking a fancy participation ribbon? Shipment stands don't even understand that. You could tell them why shipment sucks for you, the veteran normal maps COD player, but because they're the only ones fed well, they turn a blind eye to you and everyone else that dislikes their sense of fun. It's not even a case of stop having fun. It's more so I want a reward that shows that I learned how to play and master this new Call of Duty multiplayer in its entirety. Just one reward. Just one mastery camo is all I'm asking for. So if someone like Jev ever gets the chance to maybe reconsider his last outburst around shipment being the detriment to COD multiplayer? <laughs> uh, perhaps we could consider what COD multiplayer has become while you've been blaming Warzone for your troubles? Warzone has definitely taken some priority away from 66, but that doesn't mean 66 ceases to exist. It's still here and it's still being hurt by meat maps 24-7. Unfortunately, in my hot take of an opinion, I think we should just get CODs going forward without any meat-sized maps. Black Ops Golf War next year has a pretty good chance. Nuketown is a Treyarch staple after all, and at least it feels like a small map, not a tiny one. It's small than Farm 18 for sure, but at least it's a gateway into the multiplayer.
multiplayer experience everyone else is trying to enjoy. Hopefully, and I really mean hopefully, we don't see shipment ruin that experience too. I mean, Golf War is most likely going to be on the Call of Duty app. It seems like all CODs going forward will be. So I'd hate to see shipment carry over to that game and overshadow Nuketown itself. You bet your fake mastery camo biscuits these grinders would be on shipment over Nuketown. <laughs> it's inevitable. So hopefully they can break this chain. Best of luck, COD developers. Also in the comments, let me know what you guys think of 24-7 tiny maps in Call of Duty. I feel like they should be 2v2 exclusive. I think they ruin the camo grind for anyone who wants to play multiplayer outside of shipment. I think there's a false sense of skill people get from playing shipment too. And I think in general, shipment kind of just like discourages people from trying to learn new maps. So again, let me know in the comments if you think my points are fair, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies. Breaking news, face Jeff actually did it. He broke out of the cycle of shipment. His new year resolution is to not play shipment this entire year. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but like I'm super excited for him and I'm super happy. I'm gonna leave a comment, a pinned comment to this section of the video to tell people that Jev actually did it. So congratulations, man. Uh, it's unfortunate that I made this video before that one, um, but it is what it is. So I thought I'd let you guys know that he's actually on the right track. So <laughs> yeah, let's continue. Oh yeah, third day of Christmas. On the third day of Christmas, Matsuki gave to me three meat maps, two AI bots, and a hot take on skill-based matchmaking.